We haven't quite reached the big milestone just yet, but get ready to celebrate the nation's Sester Centennial birthday over the next decade. And here to make sure that we're partying like it's 1776 is Brett Bennett, president of SC250 Charleston, and Catherine Pemberton, board member and museum director for The Powder Magazine downtown. Great to have you both with us. Thanks for having us. And this is a very exciting time. We're, we're mm -hmm. getting ready to celebrate 250 years. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit more about about what SC250 Charleston's chapter is doing and mm -hmm. how the rest of the state is also celebrating and getting ready. So SC250 Charleston serves as the Charleston County Committee for all things uh, celebrating and commemorating the uh, American Revolution. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, it'll be a, a, a multi-year uh, commemorative and educational programming uh, event which should last from about now all the way through to 2033, yeah. which will commemorate the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. Goodness gracious, so people who are forgetting their history, they're gonna get a <laughs> whole decade's worth That's of right. American history, isn't That's that great? Right. And how is the Powder Magazine, I mean, tell our audience a little history of the Powder Magazine and how it plays into all the celebrations that are taking well, place. Well, the Powder Magazine was built in 1713, so it was already kind of an old building. Um, by the, time, <laughs> by the time of, of the revolution, but in 1773, um, there was a tea protest. And so, of course, the Powder Magazine is witness to pretty much the entirety of the 18th century. There, it's witnessing um, all of the American Revolution. Um, so it's there during the tea protest of 1773. And then in 1780, it's recommissioned. It had been out of commission as a Powder Magazine was recommissioned when the British are laying siege to Charleston. Mm -hmm. So it's got gunpowder mm -hmm. stored in it once again. Um, but unfortunately, a shell, British shell, hit really close to the powder magazine full of powder. Oof. They decided to evacuate the powder to underneath the old exchange building. Um, and then that's really kind of all we know about what the powder magazine is doing during the American Revolution. Oh, interesting. Uh, until much later. Yeah, right, right. If I'm correct, it is one of the oldest buildings that are standing. It is. It's in the oldest Charleston. public building in the Carolinas or Georgia. Really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you've never been there, you can take tours and you can yeah, get to know yeah. it a little bit better. But we had the pleasure of uh, taking part in a tea party recently, yes. and that was a lot of fun, you know, and a lot of people don't realize that Charleston was a first as far as the tea parties are concerned. So mm -hmm. so we had the idea before Boston did, didn't we, Brett? <laughs> well, I don't know about the idea before Boston, but the, <laughs> the, the tea did arrive uh, in Charleston just uh, prior to uh, some of those events happening in other cities, the most uh, prominent of which being being Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, the, tea, the tea arrived just offshore in, on December the 1st of 1773. Uh, the ship, uh, the, the London, uh, captained by Andrew Curling, uh, actually anchored uh, in, in our harbor on December the 2nd, at which time uh, a number of, of persons, the uh, leaders in the city uh, rushed around to call uh, a meeting, a general meeting of the inhabitants, I think it was called, mm -hmm. at which time they were really trying to determine what to do about the tea given the unrest that existed all across the colonies about right. uh, the, the, the taxes that had been placed on the tea. Yes, yeah, so when you don't like a tax, you just put it out <laughs> at sea right. until things come back around again. Right. How did you get involved with this organization and, mm -hmm. and what is it about uh, our American history that has captured your heart? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a business person, but my avocation has always been history, and uh, I've been involved with uh, as a research associate for the South Carolina Battleground Preservation Trust and the American Battlefield Trust, and have been involved with those kinds of organizations for a number of years, and was approached about serving on the state mm -hmm. uh, Sester Centennial Commission, which I was really honored to, to be approached about. And it's just been a lot of fun to try to organize these uh, commemorative uh, yeah. events. That is great. And Catherine, how do people get involved in the organization and, and to take part in all the celebrations and the preparation of everything right. that's happening? Well, the, the Charleston 250 uh, chapter of the mm -hmm. uh, South Carolina 250 um, is really kind of ramping up. We've been talking a lot to nonprofits and groups kind of around Charleston County, getting them ready to serve. And we really mm -hmm. want this to be um, an anniversary, a commemoration, a long time commemoration that's not only um, led by historians and, mm -hmm. and cultural sites, but also performing art groups. Mm -hmm. um, so we'd love to have 
our Charleston version of Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> no, wow. You yeah. know, we'd love to see exhibits, sure. performances, um, it, any, you know, any and everything mm -hmm. um, commemorating yeah. the anniversary. I'm sure there's got to be a local scribe out there somewhere who is penning something as we speak, yes. which would be a wonderful yes. way to showcase more of our history here. Well, we had the benefit of having the daughter, uh, one of the members of the Daughters of the American Revolution yeah. on earlier yeah. this week, and so we're learning a bit more about how to have proper tea, how to celebrate mm -hmm. our American heritage, right. and it is truly something that we can all take part in. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Yeah, well, we're really absolutely. enthused. I so appreciate both of you coming on to share your story with us. And of course, everyone, get out there and celebrate. It's about time. 250 years. Doesn't come around every day. We'll be back after this. <laughs>